Are you gonna do the thing? What am I supposed to say? I did it already. I did the intro. I Without me? I Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name's Alexa. Right. Welcome to another video. I'm so glad you're here. We are picking my August TBR in today's video, and I am so, so excited because we're doing a little twist on today's video, something a little new, a little different. It's been highly, highly requested on my channel to have Christopher pick the books I read. I thought, you know what, why not? I was kind of hitting a point when it came to these videos where I was starting to pick books for my monthly TBR and then I just wasn't picking those books up every month. So I feel like I've kind of hit like a block, a reader's block, I guess you could say, when it comes to creating my own TBR. So I thought for the month of August, we'd have a little fun, we'd switch it up a bit, and I'd have Chris come and pick the books I'm going to read in the month of August. I'm honestly so scared. I'm so scared. I can't lie to you guys. I'm terrified. He literally reads like murder mysteries. That's not me. I don't read books like that. So I am a little, little bit scared. It's also like summertime. So I don't know if I really want to read scary books in the summertime, but my August TBR is in his hands. I trust him. So I ended up collecting a big pile of books for him to choose from. He picked out like four or five books originally that are in this pile. And we're going to see if he ends up picking those same books again but I decided to give him a little bit more of a selection to choose from of books that I think he would just pick either because of the covers because they're murder mysteries or thrillers fantasy or just you know for funsies we're gonna see what he picked I'm gonna quickly go through the books I picked out in this pile and then we're gonna bring Chris in first up I have Stolen Air by Sophie Lark this is book two in the Brutal Birthright series it's like a mafia romance series I feel like that's kind of fun and also something he would like so I put it in here I have Things We Hide from the Light by Lucy Score this is book two he's probably not gonna pick this book but I really really want to read it because I just finished Things We Never Got Over in July so I really want to read book two. I thought I'd throw it in here for funsies. He's most likely not going to pick it. The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I could see him picking this. Gives off like the fantasy vibes. The Cruel Prince, I feel like it's a very intriguing title. I think the cover is really cool and kind of, I don't know, like mysterious, I guess. Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I really, really want to read this series. And it's actually a part of my book club poll for the month of August. This is just another really cool cover. Chris is a very big judge book by a cover type of guy. He usually picks books up if they have cool covers. So we'll see. Kingdom of the Wicked. I was very surprised he didn't pick this off my bookshelf because I feel like this just screams Chris for some reason. Like it's got a skull, a snake. It's also just a gorgeous cover. I have The Sweetest Oblivion by Danielle Laurie. This I just threw in here for funsies also. I don't know. I kind of want to start the series. I've been going back and forth with it. Indigo Ridge by Devney Perry. I want to read the Eden series so bad. I don't think he's going to pick this one. It is kind of a cool cover because it's like the mountains and we were just in Colorado so maybe like he'll be like ooh mountains. I have The Nanny by Lana Ferguson. I want to read this. I don't think he's gonna pick it. This just gives off all the cutie little rom-com vibes. We have The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. I've heard such incredible things about this book recently. This is another one though I don't know if he'll pick because again it gives off very cutie rom-com vibes. Also he'll probably make fun of it. He'll be like oh she's gonna fall in love with her bodyguard and it's like yeah but there's more to the story. I have Sword Catcher by Cassandra Clare. This one I saw him eyeing on the shelf, so I thought I'd add it in here. This is coming out October 10th. This is like an early arc version. Escape Room by Marin Stoffels. This looks terrifying. I'm honestly terrified. The Fear by Natasha Preston. I'm not kidding you when I say he was literally having a stare down with my mystery thriller shelf. Almost all the books on that shelf I have not read yet because I've just been too scared to. I also was kind of waiting for October to read spooky reads but I know he's going to pick spooky reads out for the month of August so here we are. As Old as Time by Liz Braswell. This is a twisted tale. It's basically a Beauty and the Beast retelling and this is actually a gift from Chris from this past Christmas and I was like oh maybe in August. The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelade. This has been such a popular book on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube for the longest time. It's another book he was eyeing on the shelf. I've heard incredible things about it and like everyone I know has rated it 
five stars, so we're adding it to the list. I have Five Survive by Holly Jackson. She is the author of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Chris was very intrigued with the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series, so I was like, okay. Last but not least, I have Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros, I believe is how you say it. Everyone has rated it five stars and above. People are obsessed with this story. Book two is coming out later this year. I have just been recommended this nonstop. I'm throwing it in the pile. This, I feel like, has a very good chance of getting picked because this is exactly something I could see Chris reading. This is our little TBR stack that he's going to pick from. I'm nervous he's going to pick, like, all the spooky ones. That's okay. Okay, it's just I'd prefer to read spooky books in the month of October. We'll see what happens. Can I color grade your videos? You always make me look so pale. I don't think we look that pale. Oh, I look terrible. Okay. The guest of honor, everybody. I don't get an intro this time. Oh my god, I was swooping. Do you can I don't know. What? Too lazy. Oh. <laughs> Are you gonna do the thing? What am I supposed to say? I did it already. I did the intro. I Without did, me? I did I did everything! Where'd you do it? Out there! Our guest of honor, everybody! I already went through and explained to them basically what we're doing and I showed them the books that you're going to be picking from. Glad you explained it to them because I've <laughs> Books I've been picking from, I picked six of them. How so, many books do you have? I don't know. Probably 300 plus. This is a pile of books. Yours are still in here, but I also added some different ones in. I added like some more fantasy ones, you know, some cool ones, okay? Huh? Huh? What you're going to do? It's off to a great start is you're gonna go through this pile of books and you're gonna pick which ones you like and which ones you don't like. And then at the end, you're gonna pick five to six books and those are going to be the books. Fixing my hair. Those are going to be the books on my August TBR. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. So wait, what am I doing? I'm going through the books and picking which ones you like and don't like. And if you have questions, I will answer them. Don't like them. Halfway through this, and I don't like it. I get the whole mafia thing, but it's like that doesn't stop her heart from pattering like rain against glass when he's. In I thought it said carnival. I don't know how to read. Huh, this one's actually cool. Also, flat iron books, Spider Man building. Here you go. That's a maybe. Not enticing at all. Really? I thought you'd like the cover and the title. I thought the title was really cool. It is cool. The Cruel Prince. This one's a no. I can already tell Maybe. Right what? This just looks terrible. This is a terrible cover. I think it's such a pretty cover. Why? Knock em out is the name of the town? What? That's an O for me. This, this one looks cool. This Stolen Hair by Sophie Lark. I don't like the font on the back of the book. See, I like the font. Thin crust pizza? No, thank you. I'm from Chicago. I don't know about this one. The cover's cool, I'll give them that. But, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta read this. This is fantastic. <laughs> First off, I hate covers like this. Every book that's in a Barnes & Noble has covers like this, and I hate them. I don't like it. Already a no. This is a cool cover. This one looks okay. I don't know. That's a maybe. The cover's really cool. This one looks cool. I like this one. Ooh. Oh, it's, wait, that's hell. Yeah, it takes place. <laughs> yeah, it takes place there. She creeps me out. This is a maybe. I remember when it came out because I saw it in Barnes & Noble and I told you you should get it because the cover was cool. And I had read the inside and I was like, this looks like a really cool book. So I'm just going to say yes. Oh, this is like a small font. This is a long book. I picked this one. The cover on this is really cool. I literally picked this one just because of the spine. The Silent Patient. This one's so cool. I don't get why we do this here. This one got me because I flipped it over and the first little paragraph of this is crazy. Gabriel returns home late from work and Alicia shoots him five times in the face and then never speaks another word. That's a lot. I bought this one for you, so I had to pick it. Can't believe you didn't read it yet. <laughs> what did I buy for you for? Christmas. Christmas? Christmas? It's August. <laughs> the Fear. This one's cool. Also, The Fear is a great title. I actually didn't even read the back. I just picked it off the name. I picked this one because it was short. <laughs> Oh, oh. That's the book. This looks cool. This is long. This one's cool. So now we're gonna go through all of the books that are in his meaty pile. I thought I was just gonna go with the five that I picked, but this one, this I think has to be a read. This one's okay. cool. Sword Catcher by Cassandra Clare. This one looks terrifying and we should probably not read this. I think I'm gonna go no on this one. This one was like a maybe, not the coolest. I think I'm a fantasy guy. Yeah, I think you are too. This one feels like the Hunger Games. I think I'm gonna go away from this one. This one I think I'm gonna have you read. I feel like this is a life-changing decision. I'm taking <laughs> this way too seriously. I almost wanna get rid of the tails all the time and I bought it. I almost wanna get rid of these two and do all these ones. I don't remember what this the fear is. It didn't stick with me, clearly. 
all the books that Chris picked out for my August TV. <laughs> the first one we have is Five Survive by Holly Jackson. I think it's her newest series that she just came out with. Didn't I like the cover? And I was talking about a good guy, a good whatever. What is it? A good guy's a good girl's guy. <laughs> A good what? A good girl's guide to her. Like that's too many G's in a row. So that's their funny. RV breaks down in the middle of nowhere with no cell service and they're getting hunted. Well, they realize that it wasn't an accident. Someone sabotaged them or something. Then we have The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. Mike Michaelides? How do you think you say it? Probably like Michaelides or something. <laughs> <laughs> Michaelides. Alicia Bernison was 33 years old when she killed her husband. Yeah. Next up we have Kingdom of the Wicked. This I've been dying to read because I love this cover and it sounds really cool. That's one of the coolest covers I've seen. I was very surprised he didn't pick this off my bookshelf because I feel like this just screams Chris for some reason. We have Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. I don't even remember <laughs> anything about this book. We have The Fear by Natasha Preston. That is a gripping title, dude. Only $10 too? Natasha. We have The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I think it looks cool. Not enticing at all. And then last but not least. Yeah, show that glory. We have The Sword Catcher by Cassandra Clare. I can see you reading all of these, especially oh, yeah, The Silent Patient. I think these are all really cool books. I think I chose well. I think you chose trash. But that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. I am happy. Chris wants to sit here all day and do this. I actually have fun with you. I feel so involved in your life. I'm gonna be honest. You be talking about books. I get so confused. You just read so fast. Like you'll be telling me about a book and then two days later you're telling me about another book and I'm like, but that doesn't make sense. And then you're like, yeah, so anyway, I've read four books and I'm like, what? I've been reading that Master and Apprentice for about eight months now. Comment down below what book out of our TBR pile I should read. Chris should read. What book would you like to see him read? We'll do a recap. We'll do it when I do my August wrap up. We'll bring Next Chris year. back. Imagine me trying to read this. It's 600 pages. Yeah. The whole month. That's 280, and I'm not even through that. No promises. There may be spice in there. I have no idea. <gasps> but with all that being said, I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in my next video.